1990. The case against a man accused of sexually assaulting and beating his girlfriend's <coughs> infant daughter is now in the hands of a jury. Juan Galindo claims he was actually trying to revive the child. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Kristen Swanson was there as both sides made their final arguments. <laughs> There's nothing Juan Galindo can do now but wait for a jury's verdict. He's accused of sexually assaulting and beating his girlfriend's baby, who was just four weeks old. The girl's mother had left the baby alone with Galindo. When she returned home, the child was dead. Galindo told investigators the baby was unresponsive, that he tried to wake her up and save her life. During the trial, the jury saw video of an interrogation in which Galindo told police what he'd done. What part do you think killed her? Today, prosecutors maintained the child's injuries couldn't possibly have been from just CPR and argued Galindo attacked the infant. He left that 28-year-old baby's body torn apart. But Galindo's lawyer disagreed. The baby would have been screaming bloody murder if she received these injuries when she was alive. He says Galindo did everything he could to revive her and save her. But prosecutors say they simply don't believe that's true. If he had been trying to save his baby's life, he would have gone and gotten help down the street. He would have sent his daughter down the street to get help. Galindo sat quietly during closing arguments. When the jury left to deliberate his future, he was escorted away. In Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOET Action 7 News. Galindo's lawyer argued against the DNA evidence the state introduced. Blood and semen were collected from the baby. Experts couldn't definitively say who it was from, but they said it was unlikely it belonged to anyone but Galindo. Massive flame shoot.